Hey everyone, Jason Stum here for DI How Do I. And did you know your dealer inspired website is fully customizable with building blocks that you can easily change, create, rearrange? Oh yeah, we call it Site Builder and you're going to love it. Uh, with Site Builder, you can create brand new pages on your website or you can edit existing pages to change the copy, adjust the look and feel, or, or even beef it up with new content blocks. And because I really want to show you exactly what you can do with Site Builder today, I'm going to edit the page of all pages, my home page. Uh, and so that's what we're looking at right here. And hey, you know what? It looks pretty darn good right out of the box. But you know, what else would you expect from a DI design website, you know? Uh, but at my dealership, we really want to make sure that when a visitor lands on our homepage for the first time, they get that great impression of who we are and how we'll make the car sales and service experience easy and enjoyable. Uh, so with that in mind, there are some tweaks I want to make here. So hey, you know what? I just say we do them. You guys want to do them? Uh, let's do them. I should mention here that uh, Site Builder works best with the Chrome browser. So first and foremost, make sure you're using Chrome before you get going. And so here I am, I'm logged into the page editor uh, within WordPress. Uh, and you can see that Site Builder is a visual editor. Pretty much everything you're seeing here on the back end is exactly what you just saw on the front end. And what, what's great about Site Builder is, is that you can load up an existing page or you can create a new one and you can just start flexing your creativity, uh, but no changes will be pushed to the live site until you hit this publish or update button. Uh, so don't be afraid to break some eggs, just get in there, roll up those sleeves and start uh, mixing it up a little bit. It's gonna be okay. Uh, another handy feature of Site Builder is this device toggle right here. Uh, what's great about the device toggle is that you can actually see what the page you're editing looks like as if it were loaded up on one of these other devices. So there's a mobile view, a tablet view, uh, like an iPad Pro view, uh, 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 notebook view, and then a full desktop view as well. Okay, all right, enough talking about it. Let's just start doing it. Uh, so before I can start editing, I just need to kind of unlock the page. So there's this widget tree button right here. And if I expand that, now I can see all the blocks, all the components, uh, and I can start making edits. So let's start with something simple. Uh, I just want to swap this schedule service button with the get uh, pre-approved button. And really, I just drag and drop it. Everyone should know how to drag and drop by now. We've been doing it for a long time. Oh, look at that. It worked. Hooray. So that's just a really quick, simple win. Uh, I think you've seen where we're going with this and how uh, Site Builder works, right? It's just that easy. Uh, the next thing uh, we're going to come down to here is we have a vehicle scroller, a vehicle carousel here. And I can make some edits to this. Uh, the first thing I want to do is actually kind of tweak how, how the vehicle carousel itself looks. So I'm going to click into that element. And you can see here I have a few different counts that I can change based on the device the user is viewing the page on. So desktop, tablet, or mobile. And then I have some color options here as well. Uh, but right now, all I want to do is make the number of vehicles shown on desktop four instead of three. And I'm going to leave everything else the same. And then I'm going to come over here to the vehicle options tab. Uh, where I got a few toggles I can switch on. So I'm going to switch on uh, starting price and display inventory button. Good to go there and leave everything else alone for now. And I'm just going to save that vehicle carousel. And then we're going to watch that pop up, boop, just like that, which is great. And so now, just like that, I changed the look and feel of this vehicle carousel. And then actually, you know what? I want to edit this text too. So introducing the Ford family. And I'm gonna say from our place to yours. And now I'm actually gonna add a second line of text, a subheading. So I'm gonna come over here and now offering same day delivery. Perfect. I'm gonna save that and bingo, bingo. Boom, edited that text, that is great. So let's keep on moving on here. Next up we have, okay, a service section. I love this just the way it is. Service is really important to my dealership. I'm gonna, don't need to change a thing on it, that's great. Uh, but you know what I do want to do? Actually, I want to add a section between service and this little uh, shop remotely page uh, or section, I should say. And I want to add in my dealership's reviews and I'm going to do that. So what I can do is I can scroll down to the bottom of the page here and see where it says add a block. I can just click that. Now that's going to bring up all the different blocks, all the different widgets that I can place within my uh, page. And there just happens to be a review tab here for categories, uh, different types of reviews. And I'm going to take this one. And then just like that, Site Builder is going to create all the elements needed to add this review block. Now, I do have to make one choice on my own is I have to tell this block where to get my reviews from. So I'm going to click into the reviews data source and it is going to give me a few options of, of where to get the reviews. And I want these to pull from Dealerator 
and I want to hide empty reviews, meaning that if somebody uh, just left me a star rating and didn't say anything nice about my dealership, uh, I don't want to show that. I just want to show the reviews with words. And you don't have to be a dealer rater customer to use this. Uh, this will still pull in your dealer rater reviews. And if you've gone as far as to connect your Facebook page and your Google My Business with dealer rater, then all of those reviews are going to show up within this widget, uh, which is awesome. So I'm just going to go ahead and save that. And then you will see now we've got our review block. But I remember, I didn't want it all the way down here at the bottom. I wanted it back up right underneath that service section. So all I got to do is, again, use my drag and drop skills that I learned many years ago that I'm so good at and drag it right up to the top. OK, and there it is. Now I've got my reviews right underneath that service section. Beautiful. Moving on. Uh, I like this section here. It talks about how our dealership has changed the way we do business a little bit and uh, some of the new conveniences we offer to our customers. And I just want to tweak this again to make it more personalized to our dealership. So I'm going to change this heading from shop remotely to buy from home. I will save that text header. And now I'm going to change this image. We have been sending uh, our salespeople out uh, to get selfies uh, with their customers, delivery pictures, as they are delivering the vehicles at people's houses. And I've got a couple here I want to upload. Now, you'll notice here when I clicked into an image, we're seeing two different spots, one for a desktop image, one for a mobile image. And uh, our best practice, our recommendation to you is, is that if uh, you're using like any kind of like high resolution images, uh, that you provide a more optimized version for mobile devices so you're not slowing your uh, website page load times down with these big, heavy uh, pages on mobile. So try to use two images, one for desktop, one for mobile, wherever possible. So I'm just going to X out of both of these. Site Builder will ask if that's something I'm sure I want to do, and I'm sure. And then now I will just go in and add my desktop image of my salespeople doing at-home deliveries. There's one. And then I will add in the mobile version of this totally not Photoshopped image that goes right there and boom. And then I can actually add uh, some alt text here. Uh, and that is good for both accessibility and for SEO. All right. And now that section is looking good. It just updated that on the fly, which is nice. Uh, let's see, now we've got a commercial vehicle section, which is cool, but you know, my dealership's not too big in the commercial market. I still want to keep it because my OEM needs me to, but I do just want to, boom, just move this one up here because I think this uh, kind of has some nice synergy with the buy from home. Yeah, I'm digging that. That looks nice. Oh, yeah. OK, cool. Let's see what else do we got going on here. OK, so now we've got like this kind of really big why buy section, like an about our dealership blurb that's on the home page. And a couple things I want to do here is I want to change uh, the he the heading. So we'll do that. And then we just got some sweet drone footage of the dealership. And I've got some stills from that that I think will look great here. So again, I'm just going to change this image. And now, oh yes, yes, now that's great too. And okay, so one last thing I want to do on this page is actually I want to get rid of this entire section here in blue. Uh, and I want to replace that with a, with a map. And so I can just click into any block and it will give me the option to delete it if that's something I want to do. And I do, so I'm gonna. So I hit okay there and then that section will be gone. And like I said, I wanna add a map in here so I can do add block. And look, there is a map category here. And something that's cool, and this works for all of the widgets uh, that you see here, is if you click the preview eye, it will give you a view of what that item will look like once you add it to the page. So you can get an idea of, you know, hey, what do you think is gonna work best here? Uh, let's see, let's look at this one here, full width top. Okay, that's cool. But you know what? I think I like this one. Let me look at this one again. Yes. Yeah, this is the one I like. So I'm going to insert it here into the page. And now I just added my map. So right there, I just made a bunch of changes to this page relatively quickly. And now it's time for the moment of truth. Are you ready? Let's just push this update live. Let's do it. Let's see what it looks like. And let's see how Jason did uh, with his site builder homepage update. Okay, we're published. We're reloaded. I am going to load the page. Here we go. Are you excited? Let's look. I'm pumped up. Okay, here we go. Okay, there's the buttons that change. Nice. Yep, there's my new inventory carousel looking good. My service section. Hey, look at those reviews uh, pulling in right here. That's awesome. Our totally not Photoshopped buy from home image. Nice. 
Remember, I moved this section up above the commercial vehicles, which is right there. We got our, our sweet drone shot there of the dealership, and there is our Google map that we just entered. Are you kidding me? I did that. I did it all by myself. Now, now I wanna show you one more thing. So let me go back into the page under here. So there could be a chance where maybe you pushed an update live and, and maybe you messed it up a little bit, right? Maybe you, you accidentally uh, uploaded the, that selfie of yourself uh, making a silly face and not the one of your customer like you thought you were. And you're like, oh my gosh, I just put that live on the internet for the world to see. Don't worry, don't panic. You don't have to actually go back into that uh, element and replace the image. You can just go back into your revision history and republish an earlier version of that web page. So check this out right here. Here's the revision history button. You click that and it's gonna pull up all of the saved or published updates for that page. And then you can just easily quickly go back to the one you wanted to, uh, and it will give you a little preview of what it looked like. And then you can just go ahead and hit insert, and then that will revert you back to that page of state before any of your uh, unfortunate updates took place. So you always have that fail safe in your back pocket. You cannot break anything with Site Builder. Uh, it is literally impossible to do. And that, my friends, is how you use Site Builder to make your website your own. I am Jason Stump for DI How Do I, and I will see you guys next time.